Hi Aries, welcome to your full moon in Sagittarius reading for June 3rd, 2023. Uh, full moons close out cycles, so we're going to be closing out um, a cycle probably from the last two weeks as the equinoxes are still going. The theme for your next two weeks is the Emperor card, so that's nice. It's uh, On this card, it's a yes answer, but these are fatherly type figures, people of authority, um, it's also structure, so rules and laws. Um, it can be stability. It can be protection. Um, it is the authority that rules with an iron fist or for the good of everyone involved. Let's hope it's the latter. Okay, so let's see how this is working out for you. So there could be some father figures, some authority figures. This could be you. You could be a new father or a new authority. <laughs> uh, let's see what's closing out for you here. You have the Nine of Wands. Okay. This can be feeling a little bit defensive. Maybe defending yourself against uh, an authority figure or uh, the protective energy of the... Um, of the emperor because these are your experiences right uh, that inform you that tell you <laughs> what's right what's wrong what you like what you don't like um, but nine is an acute is a cumulative energy so we are indeed with the nine closing out a cycle of passion something that we may have been passionate about that sort of kicked our ass and now um, we're dealing with the scars and the and the cumulative uh, aspects of that particular cycle and still you got the experience that you needed and um, and you learned from it which is what it was all about anyway well and also you came out victorious that's very nice the six of uh, wands so you have it's possible that you've been through some difficulty where a group situation is concerned. But this is a victory lap, and um, it's kind of only a little more than halfway through with the six. Uh, so you get to take your victory lap, but you also have to continue on afterwards. And so um, you, you feel good about it, but you know there's more to go. This gives me a bit of a suspicious feeling. So I don't know if somebody in your, in the group was suspicious or you were suspicious of them or there was just some suspicion, but I definitely get a suspicious energy from this Nine of Wands. <clears throat> we'll get more on that in a minute. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so you have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, this is how you're behaving. Uh, there could be some confusion. You could be in a state of confusion, the need to make a choice, and not 100% sure what that uh, choice is going to be. These are the seven planets that offer you seven different things, but it can also be the seven virtues and the seven vices. So you get your choose, your, your pick of, um, you get to choose, or you get your pick of, uh, something out there that has an emotional attachment that you have an emotional attachment to um, mo emotion is certainly uh, the major factor here and the interesting thing about the seven of cups card is that it does ask you uh, to check with your heart so if you have to make a choice uh, what does the heart say what does the heart want and hopefully it's virtues Well, it seems like the heart wants a new journey, something new, a new um, path. This is potential. The fool for me is pure potential. It's zero, right? So it's the egg. Everything is contained in it. There's pure potential. And we have no idea which way it's going to go, which could cause confusion and, and also give us pause for uh, what's going to happen. It's that kind of energy. Uh, it's kind of like building castles in the sky or, yeah, in the clouds because we don't know what's going to happen. And so um, 
we can choose from different options, different ideas, but nothing, with, especially with the full card, nothing is set in stone. Um, nothing is, uh, is available to make something concrete. And that's why it's like um, the castles in the, in the sky. We can make something bigger of it or worse of it than it is, or we can minimize it. But there's pure potential with the fool. This is the faith of a child, so whatever you do choose, you'll probably put your faith behind it. And I think that's the way it goes anyway. Um, every choice that you make has a challenge and um, a reward. So it's make a choice and deal with that challenge or reward as it comes along. And I think that's what the fool does. He takes things step by step uh, and hopefully watches out for the pitfalls or watches out for um, indications that things aren't correct and then adjusts as, as he needs to. Okay. So at the end you have the, as a result you have a King of Pentacles card this is my Gemini card because this is the master of the physical world. Um, he's usually a CEO type, somebody who's very focused on um, the physical, focused on the material. So work, money, um, finances, and all of that for family, right? And it doesn't even have to be the smaller family. It can be for the bigger family, and it could be for extended family, and it could be for a business that we consider people family. This person is probably going to have square features somewhere. So that could be, if you look at the chin or the hands or even the forehead, the jawline, um, even the nails, sometimes you can see in the nails if they're very square, that they have a lot of earth energy with them. So if it's not a Gemini, it can be somebody who has those uh, qualities. But you can always check the physical body to find out what their element is, regardless of what their sign is. Okay, so... Um, The Five of Wands can be some agitation or some conflict. This can be internal or this can come from very possibly that King of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be negative because the Five of Wands can also be, well, the Fifth House in Astrology uh, speaks to recreational activities. So it could just be a lively debate or uh, a fun challenge. And you still have victory, you're the fool, um, so things could go in your favor when you have these debates or challenges. Though I would say the King of Pentacles is a good adversary because he knows his stuff. Um, they can also be doctors, they can also be um, into sports and sports-related activities because it's physical. So this could be, with the Five of Wands, somebody who's very sporty and um, wants to challenge uh, you to a physical situation, something like that. It doesn't look difficult. It doesn't look like it's overly challenging. Although, in the past, you may have uh, run a marathon, let's say, and, you know, dealt with the repercussions of it for quite some time. So, again, this is sort of the card of, I've been there, I've done that, and I don't want to make the same mistakes twice kind of energy. All right, with that, you have the Empress card. So, this is uh, females in your life. This is the Mother card, which goes quite nicely with the Father card of the Emperor. Um, it's a great uh, pairing. Uh, so this could even be um, more balance within your own um, psyche, your own energy. This is a more passive energy to the um, emperor because the earth and its majesty 
is. It just is, right? Um, it was here before we were, so <laughs> it's here. Um, it doesn't have to do much other than its cycles, and, uh, and it does its thing to procreate. And this is also the procreation card, so if somebody was trying to get pregnant, you have victory uh, also where that is, uh, is concerned. But this is motherly energy. It's nurturing energy. It's also very creative. So if this is a creative um, situation, uh, creativity involved, there's plenty of it here with the Empress card. This could be pregnancy. It's very possible that somebody wants to get pregnant, have been trying for quite some time, and they are successful during this period. So you could have better opportunity to get pregnant if you are an Aries. Um, but this is motherly, and for me, this is, can be, because it's associated with Venus, it can be the fierce, uh, protective mother, and that would be the Nine of Wands. That would pair nicely with the Nine of Wands because this is a protective energy, this is a defensive energy. Nobody comes near my bear cub kind of energy. And uh, she's just looking out for her own, and very well, I might say, uh, and victoriously. If you have been unwell, right? If you've been through the ringer, this is a good card that it is time to rest and to gather your strength again. And um, this could be a period where maybe you're going on holiday and finding some rest, or maybe you get to have the option of going into nature more often, and that is definitely revitalizing. In fact, it even resets your internal clock. So if you camp a lot, you have a good internal clock, and you probably sleep like a dream. Um, again, creative energy with the Empress card. But because we are dealing with wands, this can be a, a creative project and something you're quite passionate about. Uh, it does seem to be involving other people, as this is group situations. But there can be a lot of creative uh, potential here, and things would probably look um, really beautiful when the Empress card is involved. Okay. All right. There could be some regrets here with the Five of Cups. Maybe we have done something, maybe we chose foolishly, right? Because if this is choices, and the fool is there, and then we have regrets, it's very possible that some of the choices that we have made didn't turn out the way we hoped or didn't bring the um, emotional fulfillment that we hoped it would, or maybe if it was for a while, uh, it dissipated. But this is regrets, the Five of Cups. It's an emotional imbalance, and... Um, five always pushes us to six. Now you have two fives. So there are a few things that, uh, these are your passions, right? Uh, and that internal fire, and that's why it can be agitation. But this is your emotional world, and emotional imbalance, and five pushes us to get to that six, to get to that victory, to find that balance. Also, because we're dealing with emotions, um, this may be a time where you want to let go of bad habits or things that uh, you've done, again, five being recreational, things that you've done prior that just don't cut it anymore. And so you may be letting go of one uh, hobby maybe for another one or um, one gym for <laughs> a different one. It can be that simple. Um, but there may be something that you kind of miss about the old gym or about the old hobby. However, with the full card there, we're just kind of like, well, you know what? We move ahead. Let's go forward. And even if it isn't a hobby, even if it's something that you uh, really loved, you can let it go. 
in favor of something new, in favor of a new adventure, um, or just sort of an adventurous spirit. Uh, I think we're finished with, because this is something we're closing out, right? I feel like we're finished with some um, confusing situations that kind of left us feeling out of balance. And and looking for that kind of new plane of existence with the Fool card. Looking for something new, something interesting to do, something something new I really <laughs> what comes up here uh, if it is um, that you have been trying to get pregnant and were unable to this could be different um, modalities on how to do that and you kept trying and trying different ways of of um, getting pregnant and then it probably several things didn't work well or Maybe you got so far and then um, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. And that can be on so many levels, uh, not just pregnancy, but creative projects, um, children because of the Empress and the Emperor card. You know, children could have been a bit of a disappointment or a bit of a heartache or... Um, kind of just leaving us in the feeling of what do I do next, how do I, how do I deal with this, what's the right path, what's the right way to go. The Fool for me really stands out in the fact that you're so willing to try again, you know, I think that's uh, resilience and that's absolutely very Aries, which by the way, uh, the Emperor card is my Aries card, so you're very much in your element this uh, two weeks. But it is also getting all of this sort of under control because the emperor creates boundaries, he creates foundations for things to thrive. And if it hasn't been, then he looks for other solutions um, and rarely gives up. I don't know that there's too many Aries that give up. Um, but there is this feeling of something is probably going to be an emotional, um, there might be an emotional slump in the next two weeks. All right. Oh, nice. Well, the first thing I can think of if there is pregnancy, there's a child. And so the victory where pregnancy is concerned does seem to come out for somebody. And again, this could be a fertility doctor. Just a doctor. It doesn't have to be fertility, but this could be a, a doctor or somebody who has mastered the physical, right? And with that five of wands, uh, five of Wands is also cooperative efforts. It's also, it's, it's collaboration, but everybody has their own way of, of dealing with the situation. And that can cause the internal agitation or competitive energy. But the idea is that everybody is working towards the same goal. And the Sun is a great card for that because it does uh, mean that there's a sort of a rebirth, um, if this is uh, sports related, uh, you could be in the limelight, uh, you could be center of attention, um, but this is also being very public, right, the sun. Um, it's also success. It is feeling energetic, so I think this situation gets uh, cleared up fairly nicely in the next two weeks. And it could just be because it's summertime, and summer, there's the sun is out more often, and we just feel better because of that. Uh, and we get the proper vitamins that we need from the sun. Therefore, we should not block it out um, or try to. Um, and <laughs> by that, I don't mean you, obviously. Um, but there is a youthful energy with the sun, which kind of is really nice because it takes us away from this sort of... Um, emotional instability energy 
and it pairs, I think it pairs nicely with the full because there's this sort of carefree attitude and, um, again, faith of a child, a child. Um, there can be illumination when the sun comes out. There are, um, this person may have, um, may have good options, good opportunities for you. And again, the emperor, it's somebody in authority, somebody who has some authority, who has uh, uh, studied and worked very hard for their authority, right? The king of pentacles, master of the physical, and the emperor who sets down good foundations and rules and regulations for that sort of thing. So it looks to me like whatever it is that you were worried about or that you were a little bit wary about or leery, uh, some things that you didn't trust 100% because you've been there, done that, and it didn't work out, I'm still carrying the wounds from it, that kind of energy, finds its success in, the t in these two weeks. And um, it's kind of like it finds its, its opposite, but it's its perfect match, okay? So whether that's a person, an idea, a situation, um, a creative project, because remember the Empress is very much about creativity, creation, and the Earth herself, there is victory here. And we are finishing up this cycle. Again, with the Seven of Cups and the Five of Cups, there's this feeling of... Um, Kind of, I, for me, it feels like I don't want to make the same foolish mistakes, so I have to choose properly this time. Okay? And then it seems like you do. It seems like you do, and it's, it can, there can be competition around uh, with this card, but things seem to be moving very well in your favor. And with the sun there, well, we're just all around feeling a lot better, a lot happier, and... Um, kind of a regeneration of, of energy and of creative inspired ideas and just feeling all around better and social. I don't think that's a bad two weeks, um, Aries. Other than this situation, but I think it really does come down to not wanting to make the same mistakes that haven't brought us that happiness. We kind of are trying to avoid that again. All right, so what the Spirit wants you to know, you have the Knight of Pentacles, which refers a lot to the King of Pentacles here. And this can be an offer of some sort that is very strong, it's very firm. This is attainment. And um, reversed, it's a rut or routine. And that, that can be this, you know, it can be even this card. It's just, an, I've been there, I've done that. I want to move on. The Knight of Coins can procrastinate sometimes. There is patience needed, but this is also the card of timing, knowing the best time to plant uh, and the best time to reap. Um, it's tenacity. Um, it can procrastinate, or you can procrastinate during this time, which again can come in with the Seven of Cups, procrastinating in making that choice or making that decision, finalizing something. Um, but again, you find the right time, and that could be summer, because the sun card is associated with our star sun, but I, sometimes I equate it with August. So you may be looking into August here. Uh, the king of pentacles is my Gemini card, so um, that is the month of June. So June into July you might be looking at here, as far as timing is concerned. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. I'll return in two weeks with a new moon reading, and um, I wish you a good two weeks. Thanks for listening. I do dailies. Talk to you soon. Bye.